This is the exceptional life of a man with little formal education who acquires knowledge through his own initiative, study, and observation. During his lifetime, he filled well over 13,000 leaves of paper with his thoughts and observations, which he illustrated with exquisitely detailed drawings. He became an engineer and a scholar, achievements which no doubt forged the painter of genius, whose masterpieces delight us to this day. Leonardo da Vinci shaped the Renaissance. He was open to all types of knowledge and remains to this day the symbol of a new form of humanism. His journey is an illustration of perpetual movement and of the life of someone who always served different public figures, who never hesitated to move things forward differently. He's also the prime example of a total and entire freedom that is illustrated by his art and his graphical technique. Who else could paint with such complete freedom? Who else could paint with no care for artistic commissions from patrons? And moreover, he never delivered an order. He kept his paintings throughout his life. I think that his whole life is illustrated by these two points, understanding the movement of life and living in complete freedom. The drawings of Leonardo have extraordinary acts of observation. When in anatomy drawings in 1489, he does the series of the skull, and they are just magnificent. And he actually sections the skull. He, see, he saws through it. And for the first time, you see the frontal sinuses and so on. All the accounts from his contemporaries tell us that Leonardo used to go to the Grazie's dining hall just to do two or three brushstrokes. The prior of the Santa Maria della Grazia convent used to come and ask Leonardo each time, Signore Leonardo, when will you finish this work? Leonardo would answer, yes, I will continue, but there is still one head missing, Judas is, because I have not found yet a model who inspires me with such an evil character, with such a despicable mind. A few weeks later, when the prior went back to the dining hall, he saw his own features reproduced by Leonardo on the face of Judas. 